you guys I am back today with a flashback Friday and while I love flashback Friday I am really sad about this one to be honest with you guys I've kind of been putting off doing it even though I knew at the beginning of the week this is exactly what I wanted to do I actually had been hoping to use this palette again in the spring but with everything that's gone on this week I felt like this was the time to use it I definitely wanted to do something in memory of Mel I don't know if you guys have heard I would assume by now you probably have especially if you do watch a lot of YouTube one of my absolute favorite, and I've talked about her many, many times in my videos, influencers or YouTubers, however you would like to say that, um, Mel Thompson, she passed away this week, and sorry, I'm actually having a really hard time doing this video. Um, I don't feel like I have the right to be as, as sad as I actually am, but I feel like I've watched so many of her videos that I can't help but feel like a connection to her, which is really creepy because obviously I've never met her, I've never spoken with her, um, but I always felt like I could relate to her. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably feel that way. She had a lot of issues with illness and she'd been through a lot of things. Really loved how she was able to teach and talk and just treated every single person that I ever saw her talk to with respect. And in a world like this, I feel that's really rare. To me, I find it to be extremely sad that she passed away because she is so young. Like, she's so young and she's got a family. She has children. She's been with her husband for a really long time. Her mom's ill. And I just, I can't even imagine what they're going through. I don't know you guys, but if you were to ever watch this video, please know that I am thinking of you guys. I've been praying for you guys. I, honestly, I, I can't, I can't even, it makes me sick to my stomach to think about what you guys are going through. Anybody that actually knew her, I feel the same for you as well. Because she really, I mean, and obviously, I, like I said, I don't know her. I've never met her. I've never talked to her. But she just... She had the ability to make people feel better. I cannot count the times that I have been dog sick and miserable and by myself and I would at least turn her on so I had her in the background and I didn't feel like I was so alone. It felt like I was there with a friend and to me that really meant a lot. So with that being said, the palette that I'm using this week is the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace. This is the collaboration that they did with Mel Thompson and I loved this palette. From the second I knew she was doing a collaboration with Sydney Grace, I was probably one of the most excited and hyped I've ever been. Mel Thompson was actually how I heard of Sydney Grace and that was when I began trying it. It was several years ago now. Mel Thompson always spoke so highly of them. And I, the second that I knew she was doing this collaboration, I knew I was going to pick it up. And I always thought that the packaging was really cute because, and I'm not big into insects now. I like bees and I like butterflies, but for her this was just spot on. I just really felt like they did a great job of kind of capturing her on a palette more or less. She had a lot of tattoos and this is kind of in that tattoo style and you know she loved and she loved insects so for me I definitely think that they did a good job when this was actually out it was $52 I do really hope that they'll do a restock on this because I know there's a lot of people that still really want to pick it up or thought that they would be able to pick it up in the future and I, I'm sure that they probably will that's just my guess I haven't even talked to them so I'm I don't have a direct line or anything like that. My guess is they'll probably open it up to more people because I'm sure they're going to realize how many more people are going to want to have this in their collection just to keep that memory of Mel with them. So with that being said, this is what the outside looks like. And then when you open it up, this is the color story. And I, at first when I saw it, I was kind of intimidated, to be honest with you guys, because I, it was kind of, you know, because there was pops of color. But then I really broke it down into like quads or duos and it was much easier for me to use it. And I've got to say the quality is just fantastic. Like Mel knows good makeup. I mean that's all there is to it. And Sydney Grace is some of the very best makeup out there. And not just makeup but customer service and quality and shipping and all of that. 100% across the board Sydney Grace is, is one of the best brands out there. Uh, so in any case, this is a color story. I feel like the neutrals are just fantastic. They pull together all of these pops of color that you see in here. You may not even be able to tell, but I'm actually wearing both of these over here. And I feel like it just, you don't even notice that necessarily I've used some of that purple, but it just adds a nice little undertone to what I have going on in my opinion. I know that this is kind of a basic look, but I so, at the second I got this palette, I really wanted to use this shade and do a look with it. And I don't think I did. And so this was my opportunity to do that. Now, if you have not tried their formulation, I've got to tell you guys, the mattes are some of the easiest you'll ever work with, but the foils are so, so special. Like, they are, uh, like, on another level of foil. They're like that Pat McGrath, That's impactful foiled kind of shade. Then you've got a few duochromes. Like, Consider this a duochrome. It goes kind of pink to orange, almost gold. And this one right here, like, oh... I love it. It's like a blue to teal to maroon kind of shade. It's it's so gorgeous. Now, they did have this shade in their main line. It's called something else, and I'm so sorry. I actually never bought it in the main line, so it was perfect that they had it in this palette because I did always really want it. Um, so, in any case, I definitely think that she did a great job coordinating this palette. You can come up with so many different looks with it. I am going to try and do a few more looks by the end of this week before I post this video. I don't know how it's going to go because I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I've been kind of in a depressive state. <laughs> that sounds like really dramatic, but I've just 
and down. I don't know if anybody else just feels like really down, kind of introverted this week. So I'm sorry, I haven't really been posting that much. And I haven't really been interacting that much this week. It's nothing against you guys. There's just some times where I just need to take a step back. And unfortunately that was this week. I haven't felt the best. Hopefully next week will be better. That's all we can really hope for and just be grateful that we're here another day. With that being said, I don't know if I'm going to swatch this for you guys because I have actually already swatched it. If I don't swatch it, I will include a link down to the original. And then I will do at least this eye look for you, though I do hope to do at least one to two more because this is a beautiful palette and I think that she did a really good job and I want to take the time to really do some things in memory of Mel. So I am also going to be doing an anybody, like I, I, I put this earlier in the week, that I'm going to do looks and kind of tag them. I think what I'm going to do, and I'm sure somebody's already got something like this out there, and if they have, I'm sorry, it's just I have not really been on Instagram that much, but I'm going to do a tag. It's going to be hashtag in memory of Mel, I think is what I'm going to do. And if you decide you want to do some looks, whether it's with this palette or maybe Christian Audette, which I do have, um, her collaboration with Christian Audette, or anything that just reminds you of Mel in general, you feel free to use that hashtag and just add to it. I just want a place where people can create. I was just thinking that'd be a nice way to kind of get everybody together if they wanted to do a look in memory of her. Because I know that there's a lot of people out there that really enjoyed her videos as much as I have, and I have always been grateful for them. So with that being said, if you guys want to use that, you're more than welcome to, and I will be back in just a few minutes. Future me, I just figured since I was already doing this video, I might as well show you guys. I did get the collab with Christian Audette and Mel Thompson, so I went ahead and I did swatches of each of them on my lips. I think I might do them on my arm as well to show you guys. Uh, this is what it looks like. I just figured I'd take a few seconds and kind of show you that collaboration because I don't think I ever did on my channel. So I actually did get both of the lip liners and the lipsticks. When you got the lip liners, they came in this box. The lip liners were $25 a piece. And this is what it looks like. Really classy kind of packaging. The pencils themselves are really nice, but here's the thing to remember about these. They're waterproof, so when you put them on, they are going to stick. So if you are looking for something that maybe has a little bit of budge time or something you can work with, once it's set, it's done. You will not be able to touch it. It's not going to come off. It does come off with like oil-based products and stuff like that, but other than that, it's it's pretty well on there to be honest so they did a really good job formulating these this is the shade smooches and this is the color she named because of kelsey brianna j who is also on youtube but they actually worked at mac together as well and so this was the color for her it's beautiful i'm going to swatch it and talk to you about the color when i do that when you placed your order you actually got this card and it's beautiful of course mel looks stunning she literally cannot take a bad picture like she's just one of those people that's super photogenic and gorgeous and everything so classy and beautiful this picture is just gorgeous i loved her sense of style personally but this is the card that came with it and it's got all the information about the colors on the back the shade puff and lipstick was for her husband but talking about the lip liners this is the shade kitten this is slightly lighter than smooches it is beautiful. It's definitely like that pinky gray tone nude type of shade. I love that. That's like my exact jam. This collaboration in my opinion was beautiful. Like I love the colors personally. I felt like really drawn to them. For the lipsticks, they were $29 a piece and these are some of the most nicely made lipsticks that I own. Actually, they might they might be the best packaging that I have truthfully. So this is what the packaging looks like. It actually has the Christian Audette and then Mel Thompson on here in kind of beautiful gold writing. Oh, the boxes. The boxes are the best part. So the boxes actually have Mel on them with another beautiful picture of her. Like truly she could not take a bad picture. I'm telling you. And she's wearing Puffin in this right here. Um, each of the boxes looks the exact same as this. They were $29 a piece. And oh my goodness. So these are well, well made. When you touch them, they're very heavy duty. Uh, they have beautiful gold on the inside. And this is the shade Puffin. It is like a hot coral kind of shade. I really enjoy it. I think it's beautiful. It's very intense. So if you're not into that type of shade, this may not be for you. But I still think this is a really great shade for summer, in my opinion. And this is magnetized, which is gorgeous. I love the white. I think it's really classy. She did, she did a great job. You can just tell Mel is in this. And of course, if you watch her channel, you know she calls her viewers beauties. And it is like one of the most endearing welcomes on any channel I've ever seen. That's where she took the inspiration for this shade. It is just a beautiful neutral kind of pinkish nude tone. I really like this as well. It definitely feels expensive when you touch it. So I just figured since I was already here talking about Mel that I would take a second to show you this collection because it was so very beautiful. Now I will let you guys know this a lot of the items are actually still in stock so if you are wanting to get these for your collection so you can remember Mel I would I would go because I don't know if they're going to restock them once they run out. I, I know nothing really about Christian Audette to be honest with you outside of this collection and I can tell you I didn't even talk about the lipsticks. Oh, okay, so the lipsticks themselves, the performance is beautiful. This is definitely your more creamy finish, so creamy satin finish. And it smells, 
it smells incredible. It's like vanilla for sure. It's beautiful. It's light. It's not overpowering. When you put it on your lips, it dissipates, so you don't notice it forever, but it does add a nice little touch to it. But as far as wear, it's, it's gorgeous. Like, honestly, I feel like together with the lip liner, because I'm wearing smooches and I'm wearing beauty together, I like the way that my lips look like this. I feel like it does a really nice job of filling in my lines. My lips are really, really torn up right now. They're very dry. So for them to look even this decent is shocking because they don't look that decent. When you see me swatching these, you'll see just how bad my lips actually look right now. So with that being said, I'm going to do swatches of everything for you guys now. I'm going to do this eye look. I'll do another eye look and I'll be back at the very end. All right. The very first shade is called Web. All right, and that is a beautiful kind of white champagne shade called Tree Hopper. And that's kind of an orangish toned tan shade called Fire Butts. And that's a beautiful kind of green tone gold shade that has some silver as well. It's it's one of my absolute favorite shades of all time. It's called Walk and Stick, which my mother is very afraid of. A green toned brown shade. It is called Scarab. Beautiful kind of tealish green with a magenta burgundy kind of undertone. It's it's gorgeous. It was called Flutterby. What kind of pinkish coral shade? Next shade is called BB. Is a beautiful yellow gold shade. Next shade is called Mantis. And that's a beautiful like light spring green shade. The next shade is called Meadowhawk. And that's a really beautiful, like, pink to orange to gold. I, it's stunning. And a gray-toned purple shade. The first shade of the last row is called Jewel Bee. Light purple, kind of lilac color. The next shade is called Marvel. And that's a beautiful kind of orangish champagne brown. The next shade is Death Moth. And it's kind of similar to this, but it is definitely more brown undertoned. And that's kind of a gray undertoned brown shade with a slight hint of green called Bugaboo. And that's a beautiful kind of maroonish burgundy color. Spider. That's kind of a burgundy purple undertone brown that has a little bit of charcoal. The whole Tiny Marvels palette. Here is the palette in low light.
Uh, we're going to start with the shade Beauty, and I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Kind of nudie pink with a little bit of gray to it. It's, it's beautiful. I widened that swatch just a little bit. The very next shade is called Puffin. And that is kind of like a hot coral type of shade. It's like a red toned orange. It's beautiful. The next shade is Kitten. This is the first liner. This is the lighter of the two. So it is actually very similar to Beauty, but it is a deeper tone of it. So it's still a kind of gray toned pinky nude shade, but this is definitely lighter. The second lip liner shade is called Smooches. That's a really beautiful kind of gray toned brown shade. I love that. There is maybe a hint of orange undertone, but it is very minute. And this is the entire Christian Audette and Mel Thompson lip collection.
All right, you guys, I am back and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. This is not a review. This is kind of less than a flashback Friday because I'm, as you can tell, this is kind of more of a somber note, to be honest. I, I wanted to do something in memory of Mel. And this is the best way that I can. Like, I didn't know her in real life. I only knew her through her video. But I can tell you, I've watched, whew, probably almost all of her videos and she has gotten me through some of the worst moments in my life without even knowing it. I... I can't imagine the things that she's gone through. I can't imagine the things that her family are going through right now. I've just been thinking about how they must feel. And I know I have no right to be sad in comparison or anything like that. But I think about her family and all that they've lost. And it, like, hurts my heart. Like, I, I can't even picture it. So, to her family, I'm definitely thinking of you guys. I'm praying for you guys. I'm wishing you all the very best. Um... I think that your I think that your wife and that your mother and that your daughter was an incredible person. Just from what I've seen watching her videos, she had one of those hearts that was just so big and so easily transparent to everybody. You couldn't help but be in a better mood watching her videos. I mean, her heart was in everything that she did. So, um, the palette that I decided to talk about this week was the Tiny Marvels palette. This is her collaboration palette with Sydney Grace. And again, we've talked about the cover, but this is 100% Mel. Like, when I think of Mel from all the videos and all the times that she's talked about her and her interests, her likes, her tattoos, all of that, which I love because I have a boatload of tattoos as well, this this is her. I mean, this is 100% her. They really nailed it, in my opinion. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And I just feel like they did a great job picking the colors that are in here. They all work really well together. You can get some fun looks. You can get some neutral looks. You can get some expressive looks. She did a really good job. Sydney Grace is a fantastic company. If you get any eyeshadows from Sydney Grace, you're not going to be let down. The palette when this came out was $52. It is not in stock right now. I do hope that they offer a restock to anybody that might be interested in getting this because I feel like there's a lot of people that maybe were not able to pick it up at the time or haven't been able to pick it up since because, you know, because the last year has not been easy. So in any case, I really hope that this video maybe gave you a chance to enjoy something that reminded you of Mel and please keep it nice in my comments. I don't know who would actually have anything negative to say about her or anything in general. But if anything gets crazy in my comments, I will block you. I will cut you out immediately. There were a few comments that were on her family's posts that I feel were in poor taste and if that happens in my comment section, which I sincerely doubt because for the most part, I have some of the absolute best subscribers. But if that happens, you will be removed. I will block you and it will happen just like that. Again, just in case you guys didn't see it in the beginning, I will be using the hashtag in memory of Mel for any future looks or swatches or anything I decide to add that makes me think of her. And if you guys want to use that and add your own memories of her or your own looks or anything that just makes you feel more like connected or better in any type of way, please do. In any case, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. I'm thinking about everyone and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.